All right, Angle Boas. Are you going to be a pain? Am I facing the brave soldier the prophecy promised me? No, I don't believe you're the one. Who are you then? It doesn't matter. I'll squash you like a bug, but don't worry. You won't live long enough for regrets. Who am I starting with here? I don't know. Okay, need to remember muscle memory. Well, ideally, you know what? I want to get Emma in, though, because we want to use Great Booster. We only have so much Gatling Raids, we should definitely get some boosts. Also, gotta remember, in Alter Code F, we can switch to turn order, which is really helpful. See, I've been playing this game, but I've just been spamming attack and killing weak enemies, so I need to re I need to get back into, like, the muscle memory, you know? Like, I haven't actually, like, fought a boss or tried in this game since, like, whenever I streamed the end of the main story. Which was back in, like, July, I think? Which is only a month ago. It actually wasn't that long ago as I thought. I think it's only been like a month and a half since I finished this, but still, I've been playing a lot of other games. You, Great Booster, I think is what we do. On Broody. Do I Fragile or do I... I don't know if I Fragile or just use Brave Seal. I have 100 FP, I might as well Brave Seal. That's the good thing about being max level. We have, we immediately have enough for the summons. We should also try to plant some force carrots, though. See, I kind of want to get the small flowers done, but at the same time, I think we should plant some force carrots. I'm pretty filled on, like, most berries that aren't. Like, every berry I'm filled on and revive fruits, but I think force carrots, I can definitely use a few more. Especially before we go into abyss. Emma, don't die. Nice. Switching you out after this anyway. Shutting Star of TMS was their take on press turn. Oh yeah, their combat system was the combat system was really unique. I liked it. I like the um I like the session system of like getting a weakness and then everyone getting in with the combos. It was really cool. It was flashy. Oh baby that damage. Part of me feels like that should have done a little bit more, but maybe that's normal. Again, I haven't played this game in like a month and a half. I don't remember what the standard damage you do with Gatling Raid is. All I know is it's really broken. All right, goodbye, Emma. Thank you for the help. It can Zed in here. Why not? Mix it up. You, you, you. You, 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 you. Oh, yeah, your other FP abilities, like, suck or something. I'd rather just go Secret Sword. Permanence on Rudy. Make sure these stat-ups stay. Maybe if I use Fragile, we'll get like 100k. That should probably be the next thing I do. Oh yeah, Sessions, that's what they were called. I haven't played the game since whenever they ported the Switch, so I don't even remember what they were called, but yeah, Sessions. I think I, I think it released, it must have released like right before I started streaming. Because I never, I never did a playthrough on YouTube. I think I played it like right before I started streaming. It must have, I think I just missed the cut. a lot less than 50k. Well, I never finished it. I think it took me a while to finish. I mentioned this to you in the Discord vlog on, but PMS was a game I played a lot on and off. So maybe I finished it during my YouTube career, but like, yeah, it was a game I, um... It was a game I would play... I didn't finish it for a while. I played it over, like, a long period of time. Secret Sword. I got a heal. Oh, I have regeneration. That's why. Get 3,000. Love to see it. Alright, Angle Moas, how much do you have? You counterattack, don't you? That's interesting. Alright, Angle Moas has 300k. So, 300k? Or is that 3 million? That's 300k. So, that'd be like 2, 3. You're healing too, which is a little annoying, but it's fine. I, I'm probably out damaging you, so it doesn't really matter. Fire! It's like about six-ish Gatling raids, six plus Gatling raids to kill you. Came out January 17th. I think I started that month. I don't know why I didn't 
stream it. I was probably... I probably had just started there and maybe I just didn't think to stream it. I don't know. So I, I started that month. My... Is my first video December 2019 or... It's either December 2019 or January 2020. The only way I remember that is because Persona 5 Royal and Remake were like the first new releases I did. So... Alright, so it came out when I started. I must have just had a reason for... I must have just not thought of streaming it or something. Something happened. Let's get a Shining Star ready because I know you're going to probably use like Falling Moon, which you haven't done yet. What's the move that protects me? This one. Royal was March of 2020. Yeah, I remember that. That came out during COVID. Like, COVID was like... A big thing. I did the original FF7. That was the first thing I ever streamed. I did the original FF7 and then I did Tales of Graces. So maybe I didn't stream TMS because I was focusing on those games before P5R and Remake were coming out. I did the original FF7 because Remake was coming out. And then I did Tales of Graces just because, you know, it was my favorite Tales game. It still is my favorite Tales game. And I just get it because, like, of course I would pick a game from my favorite franchise to start with. And I eventually did R Royal when it released, I did Remake when it released, and then a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> you can go look at my channel if you want to know my history. But yeah. Oh, power, secret sword. You're healing, but also, my gathering raids are probably- Okay, Zed, I'm starting to remember that you suck as a party member, which really is unfortunate because I love you as a character. I wish Zeb was actually, like, good in this game. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not. Especially for how long they have you wait for him. In here, Jane. I don't really think we need to follow me, but, like, you know, maybe you'll do some damage. I wonder if you have anything to steal. We're gonna find out. I should analyze you. Maybe a spell will work. I mean, Rudy's doing most of the heavy lifting anyway. Jane, what are you doing? How could you miss? Oh, of course, you resist everything. At 300k, the game could have told me that. I didn't need to use my guide. I could have just, like, scared them. Hey, live this. Nice. Nice SOSFP up. I remember if I ever tried getting Gatling Grade higher than 9. Can't remember. Because I know Gatling Grade's at 9. Probably dead from this. I'm 4. Can't remember if I ever tried that, because I know Gatling Grade's at 9, but I don't know if you can get it to 10. Because I think I might have a few altar parts. Anyway, worry about that later. Where's the revive fruit? I have like 92 of them. Well, Cecilia, hate to say it, unless you have a summon, you're pretty useless here. Get Jack in here, maybe we can do like, uh, whatever his highest fast draw tech is. Yeah, Laser Silhouette. We don't have Accelerator, but that's fine. Oh, Anglomois. This is mostly a battle of attrition. All I need is to, like, run my Gatling Raids dry, and I basically win. And I've gotten some damage with, like, Zed, and that was a lot with Jack there. 7,000 for any character that's not Rudy is, like, really good. The super bosses are definitely designed with the idea that you're using, like, Rudy's Gatling Raid. Like, Gatling Raid is the way to beat these super bosses. Oh, I'm out of force, dang it. My accuracy's not great. I'd rather not do that. Really, honestly? Just just do an Arc Nova. I don't want to waste anything. Try to get the finest arts and then go for another laser silhouette. Because that did a lot. His healing is not high enough either, so it's like fine. What's up, Yokai? Welcome. More lasers. 
Oh, nice heal. <laughs> you totally needed that, Jack. So far, though, Angle Mo is, like, not really that difficult compared to Wild Arms 2 and the original one. I guess he doesn't have his Falling Moon attack. Then again, in Wild Arms 3, I think he was a pushover. I think in 3, he was a pushover. I think in 4 and 5, he was hard, but not, like, Wild Arms 1 and 2 levels of difficult. They just made him a nightmare in the first two games. And in every other angle, Moas is like, not that difficult. Nice 3 3 3 3. Screaming mad. Alright. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Gatling Raid. Uh, try to get a final start. Accelerator, Lizard, so away. Hopefully, you die soon. Did you watch the direct? Oh, heck yeah, I did. Why? Well, all right, let me be specific. I didn't actually watch their direct. I had to go back and see what was announced. So I know of everything that was announced. Grace's remaster? Holy cow. Finally, one of the PS3 Tales games is going to Switch, and... I think it's going to go to PlayStation and Xbox, too. It was a Switch event, so I'm hoping they'll be like, Oh, yeah, it's coming to PS4 and PS5 as well. I would have been fine with Zillia or Graces, but I'm happy about that. Um, the Suikoden Remasters finally have a release date. They're coming out like March 6th of next year, which, you know, better late than never. Um, what else? Oh, apparently there's a Sky, I looked back and there's a Sky remake being made, so that could be fun to play. My biggest complaint with Sky was its combat. Hopefully the combat's a lot better. Maybe I'll play that remake. But yeah, Direct was pretty solid. Not a lot I care about, but the Graces Remaster and Sweet Kingdom Remasters are like I'm excited for. Uh I'm gonna have you do uh what's the really good one? It's this one. That one's really good. You, Jane, are gonna get a potion berry. You should have floor arts. Yeah, I doubt it's going to be Switch exclusive. It was a Switch-focused event, so they probably just... They, they showed it as Switch only. But I think this happened with another... It happened with another game that was announced, like, oh, it's coming to other consoles. So, like, yeah, it's Tales of. It's going to come to PlayStation. I have no doubt about that. And I'd rather get it on PS5 because I want Platinum Trophy. I already got the Platinum on Graces on PS3, so I'll get a second... I'm going to get a second Graces Platinum. Because I already have the PS3 Platinum. Either way, though. I mean, getting to play that game on modern consoles is enough. Like, Grace's Zillia, Zillia 2. There's 7th Moon. He does use it. Just later in the fight. He must be getting low if he's doing it. But yeah, those games have needed ports. People were leaking a Zillia remaster. And we got Grace's, which I'm fine with. I would have been fine with either one. But, like... More Tales of is great, especially the un unaccessible ones. A heal here. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna switch Jack out, put Cecilia in. Are you gonna be able to heal in time? I hope so. Oh, doesn't revive, like, give you, like, 5 HP in this game? It's not that great. I think you're better off using a revive fruit. Alright, 7 Moon was a little scary, but hopefully we can turn this around unless he spams it. It seems like mostly the counterattack is the problem with this fight. But as long as you can, like, get by that, it doesn't seem difficult. The renovation really isn't that big a deal because it's not much of a heal. We only got like five seconds in the direct in like a minute. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Sky only got like a... I didn't even know it was in the direct because I didn't watch the direct. I just had to look up what was announced, but Sky was like overshadowed in the West. Looks good though. I mean, I'll, I'll probably play it. I'd be down to play Sky again. Hopefully the combat's a lot better because like... The, my biggest issue with the Sky games in general is the combat. I'm not really a fan of the combat in those games, but hopefully the combat's better in this one. I imagine it will be. Um, Gun Claymore, Arc Nova. Got three of those. I want to wait for Lock-On, though. Do a Gun Claymore again. 
Actually, honestly, I'd rather just, like, give you a force carry. I'm gonna grow more of these anyway. Follow me, and you get another fragile. You can lower your defense. But yeah, those three are my 2025 anticipations. Races remaster, Suikin of remasters, and um, Sky remake. Hopefully, we get some stuff on Arm Fantasia. Is that supposed to come out next year? But it might get delayed because of lack of info. But I hope we get it. I hope it comes soon. Or I hope we just get more stuff on it. Gathering raid. All right, this time do the followers. I might want to get a Shining Star Protect. Or whatever the defense move is. I know, it'd be screaming mad, wouldn't it? So... we just do this. Bum, bum, bum. I don't really mind the Cold Steel Orbman system. I see the difference, but like, I don't know. I don't mind either way. I mean, Cold Steel is Master Quartz. And they were also in Azure, but, you know. I'd be fine with any orbit system. I don't really have a preference. It's all the same to me. Master Quartz are cool. If they had Master Quartz to the Sky Games, that'd be neat. Fire! How are you still alive? Like, how much HP could you possibly have? I think I might need to get a great booster on Ruby again because he died. Thankfully, I have Nullify Dark. Stop using this. I mean, you only used it once, but <laughs> once is enough. I liked it better when you weren't using Set of Three. It doesn't kill in this game, though. Uh, Cecilia, I love you, but you're pretty worthless here. Pretty worthless. I need to heal so badly. I just want to heal first and then... I want to heal first and then... We'll do the other thing. I'll say it in a second. Then we'll do Great Booster. I only have like two more Gatling Raids. Hopefully he dies soon. Who knew this heal would be so much of a problem? Screaming mad, what a shock! Ah! <laughs> 17k? Buddy, how much do you possibly have? Come on. Just give up. I wish you could scan how much enemies have left. You can only scan how much they have, not how much they have left. I'm not relying on you to kill here, Zed, but it'd be great if you can get me out of my misery. Nope. He's still kicking. If they had orbits, I hope it's the Azure way. Yeah, Azure probably does orbits the best, yeah. Like, if they did the cold skill route, I wouldn't mind. But, like, I mean, yeah, I would agree that the Azure way is probably the best way to do it. Like, I don't think it's, uh... I don't think, like, one is that much better than the other. Uh, Jane, Emma, Ruby. I have a good feeling about this, um, what's it called? About this great booster. It's my last one, so we gotta make it count. stuck in like a spot where he'll heal too much because like his renovation he doesn't even do it every turn or he might do it like with a magic attack i haven't been paying much attention because i'm busy talking with chat which that's the good thing about this stream the stream could be like this is like the best kind of stream to interact with chat especially for when we get to abyss because if it's anything like wild arms 3 which it probably will be it's gonna be really repetitive there we go we got him Alright, Angle Moas isn't as, like, impossible as the first two games. So that's good. 
a lot more balanced. They just made him a miserable time in the first two games and then cut back on him in the later entries. I win! Is that going to get me um level up for Jack and... Oh, Jack was dead, so he got nothing. That's fine. We can, like, find... It's going to be so easy to find, like, an apple. I could probably even use a grow apple. I don't even think I'll need a super grow apple. What is this? That's a crow or something? No. Azure had master arts? Yeah, but didn't Cold Steel 2 have the lost arts? I don't think it's the same thing, but aren't lost arts basically master arts? I guess master arts, master arts are a little bit different, but like... I think lost arts kind of replace master arts. How am I getting out of here? How much does Jack even need for a level up, actually? Only 9,000? I don't even think I need an apple, period. I can kill, like, a creeping chaos and get level 100. Oh, how am I leaving here? Okay, this is an exit. Hard to tell what's an exit. Alright, we got Angle Mois. Now, the only real things to do... Like, Abyss is gonna make up the bulk of this stream. There isn't too much. And obviously, if we have time, we'll finish the game again. Because there's a... There's an X key for, like, beating the final boss, but you have to use, like, Lucky Shot, which is weird. You have to, like, use Lucky Shot after dealing a certain amount of damage to Zeke Tuvai. So, if we have time, we'll do that. It's really gonna come down to Abyss on how long it'll take. We have to go do Abyss. And that might take a minute. 